train services have been suspended between Johannesburg and Jemistin, and this after a footbridge collapse uh, blocking the train tracks at GP's town in the Johannesburg CBD this afternoon. Let's speak now to uh, Johannesburg Public Safety MMC, Dr. Mgrini Chaku, who is going to give us more details. Thank you so much, MMC, for your time. Do we know what happened? No, what we know, uh, no good, good evening uh, to yourself and, and the listeners. Um, what we were called on the scene where a bridge that belongs to sub uh, to Prasa, uh, it actually um, it actually you know it collapsed. Um, this bridge, the, what we know is that um, it has been petitioned before by the community around the area that the, the bridge is unsafe, and number two, there are a lot of criminal activities that are happening within that uh, bridge. But uh, what happened that now? And also, there were reports that the, the build started to really, uh, it started to um, to think is to really tilt, um, and then it tilted and tilted. And there were reports that were sent to to Prasa. and then uh, to, to today, unfortunately, the building, the the things, the the, the building actually collapsed. So we were having P1 and P2 injuries. And another injury is such that uh, another person can be amputated. So this is an unfortunate incident that they can happen. We were on the scene, the, the EMS was there, and the Prasa uh, uh, of um, uh, people, which is the security, and other individuals, we actually left them there now. So MMC, you say P1 and P2 injuries. What does that mean? P1 is like, like this, uh, you know, we've got uh, you know, the, the serious like, injuries. Um, and, and, and then the, there's a, um, with the other case where a, a person, a woman, because of the weight of the bridge, uh, the whole bridge actually went on top of, of, of that individual, actually on, on the leg. And that, that leg uh, might have to be amputated because it was nearly detached from, from the body. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I wonder then if there are any press officials at the scene. Is there anyone taking accountability, particularly if you're hearing that the community was saying that they have been flagging this as a problem? Look, we, um, we just heard that there were um, the press officials which were, were coming through uh, in the, on the scene. And also, I think that uh, they might actually give you more details and also they will give you more reason in terms of the, the history, the, the history of the bridge. Apparently, this, this bridge has been really, uh, you know, been uh, told that they indicated that this bridge is unsafe. Uh, it is very old, you know, and we are saying to ourselves, look, thank God that it did not happen at the peak hour because on the other side of the road, there are factories. This bridge is actually carrying a lot of people between time between four o'clock and, and and actually eight, eight o'clock at night. Mm. So imagine now if that if this happened around four or four or five. So a lot of lives would have been lost here. And also this is the, the lane where the trains have started to really move now. So imagine that the bridge full of people and the trains coming would have been a disaster. Uh, 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 you know, that is there. So but you know we, we thank God that you know uh, this did not happen and it happened really at that time. But also we are really sad in terms of the tragedy that that has actually happened those two individuals. So what? Um, so we will we will locate them and check them up and see which hospital that are in so that we can look at, at the progress. We'll get more details from you then once you've done that. But what happens yes. now in terms of one accountability and the impact on those people that would have had to use this bridge, as you say, between four and eight p.m. What route are they now going to be able to use in order maybe to try and get around? And how do you as the city move to make sure there's accountability here? Look, the, we will wait for the officials of Prasa so that at least we can get more details of what actually happened. Look, uh, the people will have to go around, uh, you know, the, the, the area there. So it's not too far in terms of the end of, of, the, of the track. There is a, another bridge that is there, like another crossing that you can use but that one is what's actually very convenient for each and every person uh, you know to go from the factories and then go to the other, other side yeah. and look what i wanted to really highlight on this um is that even on the city itself through mmc Kane on, on on the gra there are a number of buildings within the city where gra has, has been waiting for the grant this grant coming from national so that 
many a bridge because GRA and the MMC can indicate that there are many bridges that are not uh, proper, which need, you know, the maintenance and refurbishment. And the, the, these are bridges which are disaster waiting to happen. There has been a lot of reports sent to national, but the national is unresponsive. So we really appeal also, you know, with the incident that is happening here, hopefully it will be a wake-up call, really, to look at this infrastructure of the bridges and start with the maintenance that really needs to really happen there. All right. So, so we really urge them. Yeah, we really urge them. So we're going to wait for the officials of Brazza, and there's going to be a, a communication between uh, them and also uh, the city so that we can get to the bottom of what, what really is happening.